peak steel demand in the China context. Has that been mm -hmm. adequately, adequately reflected in the share price for BHP? Yeah, I mean, there's still there's potentially there's still more downside if if the China doesn't really fire. I think you, that's one of the things that we'd be looking at. I think overall the steel production and, and BHP obviously is one of the largest uh, producers of iron ore here in Australia, but also uh, for a steel for coal and making those uh, for making steel. So both of those I think is something that we've got to be a little bit careful of. They did also do some write downs as well due to sort of uh, I guess nickel operations and those kinds of things. But you're right, it is all about the China story. It is about the proper side, uh, the pro property side of the of that equation. And, and certainly uh, they do like India. India is moving in the right direction. But China slowing has affected BHP and their share price going forward. Yeah, Adam, when you, when you look at the uh, global uh, trade picture, which is looking increasingly problematic, when you look at the worsening uh, China uh, macro situation, that has implications for copper. And I know that BHP are building that out. Does that imply that there's more stress in those EV metals and how is that going to shake out in the share price? Yeah, yeah, certainly the, the the energy transition side of things is what BHP is really looking at. And I think anything with those electronic vehicles, we certainly have seen the demand starting to fall away from for the electronic vehicles, which is definitely going to hurt most of the commodities. I, I guess the supply side has certainly uh, come online and there's certainly more supply out there at the moment, hence why we're seeing this sort of cyclical movement in some of the commodities that BHP has. Certainly copper, I think, is an industrial metal and arguably the most critical critical uh, for that energy transitions and they plan to produce uh, more and more as it, as it goes as like I said they want to be the number one producer in copper so look I think overall yes the iron ore demand has been lower but they can manage that remember BHP Fortescue and Rio can produce a ton of iron ore for around about $25 a ton and that's including the dividend as well and even with uh, iron ore price at let's say $100 there's a fair bit of profitability there uh, for still for BHP.